Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah, the ghostwriter. I just want to share some few videos with you guys. Maybe it will be four or five videos with you. Simply because of, you know, I realize that I have, you know, subscribers who are from other African countries who enjoy my content. And I'm like, let me share the beauty of South Africa with you guys so that you guys can see our South African roads and you can see the beauty of South Africa. But beside that, you know, I realize that I'm gaining weight. You know, all my clothes now are becoming smaller. I need to exercise. I need to lose weight. So I saw this machine at a place called Macro at Woodmeat. And it's a bit, you know, affordable. So I decided to go and buy that machine because I am, you know, working on, you know, building a home gym whereby I can have, you know, workouts an hour before I can go to sleep because... I made sure that every night, 8 o'clock before I go to sleep, I jog so that, you know, I can keep that blood running and I can lose a little bit of weight because I'm not happy about my weight. I cannot keep on going to the shop and buying new clothes simply because of I'm gaining all the time. So I need to work hard. I need to punish myself a bit so that I can lose weight. Now, my trip was this way. I decided to go to Rosebank Mall and sort out some things with my bank first. After that, I decided to go to Balfour Mall and buy some stuff and also, you know, to refill my gas tank simply because of I'm using, you know, a gas cooker at home or a gas stove simply because of Mantashe Mantashe. You know, he has this habit of switching off electricity anytime. You know, we can blame ESCOM, of course, but we know our politi you know, politicians, you know, they do what they like, you know, and yeah, man. So I will go there and refill the gas tank, come back home to drop it. And after that, I will take a trip to Hood Meat. And I hope you guys will enjoy the trip or the journey or the videos because I'm just trying to create as many videos as I can for you guys. South Africa is a beautiful country. It's a beautiful place. Yes, of course, we have other parts of South Africa which, you know, is still ghetto. Things are a bit difficult. There is a lot of potholes. You know, the roads are not at good standard. We are not only, you know, showing you the beauty of South Africa and not telling you about the other side of South Africa. You know, maybe I might have a chance one day to go and drive to Kasi and show you how Kasi looks like, you know. But we are in the suburbs. We are at the place called Ilovo and we are on our way to Rosebank. Some of you, are, you guys, you always hear about Rosebank. You always hear about Ilovo, you always hear about Santan, you know. You're about to see these places, guys. Of course, the roads are good. The roads are good. They're always painting, always making sure that we can see all the markings on the road, you know. And just like any other country, you know, we put money on our roads. Of course, we have a oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's not even allowed. Look at this other guy. Is following him. They are not even allowed to do the U-turn. But I'm going to speak about them on the other video. I don't know where these guys are getting the driver's licenses. Sometimes, you know, I just enjoy just sharing videos like this. Just to show you how South African drivers are driving. They just break the rules or break the law while they are just watching. There is a sign right in front of them. I made another video whereby I was just showing you guys that no U-10 is allowed. There is a sign. It's just I cannot catch it with the camera. Let me check. Let me check. I couldn't catch that sign. It's right there in front of them. But they just break the rules although they see what's going on. Look at how green the place is, guys. And, you know, Rosebank right now, it is no longer like a residential area only. You know, there is office spaces now. They're building offices, you know, and they're making it a place whereby they can work and go to their houses because the houses will be nearby. The building malls around. Rosebank Mall is one of the greatest malls. We have, you know, the zone also. Great. People go there, you know, have quality time. Right here, there is a club. They just build a club here, the robot it's a great club, you know. Look at the buildings. These are all new buildings. Allen Gray is here and other, other places. They are making sure that they are putting money, you know, into in infrastructure. 
Now let's check the drivers. You see the other sign is right there. No U10 is allowed. Those guys, they had the similar sign, the same sign. They had the same sign, but they decided to do what they wanted to do. I, my brother, my brother, didn't even want to waste time. He just went straight. All right, now temporary construction is going on. That's why you see that, you know, sign there with the yellow background. Brothers and sisters are busy working. You know, Vision Active is here. I went there, man. The gym is great, man. The gym is great there. They have pools. It's just amazing, man. It's just a problem. It's just I couldn't afford it. It was a bit expensive. Some of these gyms, man, they are so expensive. It's like you're paying for car insurance. You know, while you are just there, man, to make sure that you just want to keep fit. You know, but anyway, it is what it is. If you want quality, you have to pay for it. If you want nice stuff, you have to pay for those nice things. We are at Rosebank, guys. You know, the mall is beautiful. And there is always ladies who are there who will be asking you if they can wash your car. You know, in most cases, you know. And although it's painful, but I'm super excited to see people waking up every day and wanting to do something positive. You know, approaching you nicely, asking you if you will allow them to, to wash your car. You know, you give them what you give them, which is great. You know, and this trip was just something else. I, I saw a lot of brothers, you know, begging for money and food at the robots. You know, while sisters are doing everything in their power so that they can, they, they can work. You know, and it's just heartbreaking because it happens all the time. You know, when you are like traveling... Or when you are just driving on the streets, man, you are just going to see a lot of brothers, you know, begging. And I've seen that even women now, they are like, you know, going to the robot with their children to go and ask for food. You know, it's, it's happening in South Africa, guys, you know, and it's just one of those heartbreaking things. Because you will see the child will be playing right there next to the robot or at the robot, not even realizing what is going on, you know putting your child in danger simply because of you just want something to eat. You know, and I heard that some, you know, they even go extra mile to go and even, you know, ask other people to become babysitters of saying, no, oh, you can give me your child, you know, I'm going to go there, do what I do. And later, you know, they, they bring something. There is the sister. She's doing her job. You know, it's, it's painful. It's painful because we hear those kind of stories. And please join me on the next video where I'll be showing you from Rosebank to Balfour Mall. Thank you.